We start with the WFAA exclusive that had so many of you talking. Tonight, we're talking to the man, the real person behind these smiling photographs. Yeah, from this morning, getting a phone call from a friend that lives in Dallas to say, hey, you got to check out the story. He's talking about the story on News 8 last night at 10. A Dallas woman left with the broken heart and empty bank account after looking for love online. News 8's Marisa Vedra tracked down the man in the pictures for his side of the story. I definitely was falling in love. Emily Thompson was enamored with the soldier she met on Match.com in March. But it was over when she learned their love was a scam that cost her more than $130,000. Totally devastated. His name was Robert Parker. Hello. And Tuesday, we heard from two more North Texas women. So what did you think when you saw the story? I was shocked. Who also texted with this man. I had been sent the same pictures that she had been sent. He is not real, as they discovered when he started asking for money. But the man in the photos is. Um, I can't believe I'm talking to you. And he's a victim, too. I I'm doing the best I can to live like a nice, average, normal, suburban, suburban life. So. He is an Army reservist living in Illinois, whose name we're not sharing since his family sacrificed enough of its privacy <laughs> in the last few years. The pictures came from uh, a deployment to Afghanistan in 2011 and 2012. Um, our battalion created a Facebook page to kind of keep friends and family you know, up to date of what we're doing where we're at. He says someone saved them and keeps using them on several dating sites. He hears from scorned fake lovers every two to three months. When you know a wife gets uh, text messages or Facebook profiles you know, from a random woman saying, hey, uh, I saw this, at, I found this at Match.com, you know, what's going on? Uh, those are definitely the, the most rough. He says he's contacted police and the dating sites, but for every profile taken down, there's another. I mean, so he's asking daters you know, to ignore him if you see him. They need to know that if you get contacted and it seems fishy, chances are it probably is. It'll make for one less hard hill of broken without even knowing. We reached out to Mesh.com about this. They told us that the company has various ways that it looks out for fraud within its system. But once you leave it and often start texting on your phone, for example, there is no way to know what's really going on.